Hey Manly fam, we're back for round two of our ball handling. Today we will be focusing on our drop stance, which is one of the most common stances that you can see LeBron use here to blow by people. Uh, remember, our focus is to do the most with the least, so that's what we'll be working on today as we get in that nice, big, wide, athletic sprint stance. So to start off, we're just gonna work on taking a hard pound and getting nice and low into that drop stance. Here's another example of Kawhi Leonard, who's often an advocate of the drop stance to just bring people with a change of pace. When we want to change direction in the drop stance, the most effective way to do this is our between the legs dribble. So we're going to start off with a stationary one, not moving our feet. Luka Doncic is a master at using the through the legs dribble and it enables him to change direction with the defender being really close and he can keep the ball protected at all times. Moving on to adding in our drop stance, we're now going to execute a between the legs dribble, moving our stance from being a drop stance in one way, back together, and then into the other side. Here we can see LeBron James execute the move to just blow by his defender. One of the keys to executing a through the leg dribble is to stay incredibly low, as we can see the GOAT do that here. Now we're going to do it through the legs dribble and put our hand to the ground as we switch our stance. Next up we have our machine gun dribble, which is just a double through the legs executed with a bit of pace. Notice how we can switch up our stance here to throw the defense off balance. Here you'll see Kawhi Leonard doing it.
Harris defends on the perimeter. Next up is our scissor dribble. We may not do this one heaps in a game, but it's a great way to build our leg strength and improve our hand. You might be a bit tired now, so to give the legs a break, just move the legs back and forth and do a relax through the legs. I know I'm pretty stuffed here. The between the legs cross is a nice little setup move. I'm not the biggest fan of James Harden, but he's obviously the expert at it. We really just want to do this once or twice and explode into our move as opposed to 35 times. Another look at the drive and slam. Just to really work our legs, we're going to execute a machine gun dribble followed by a change in our drop stance, just to get the legs burning. We 
We're going to finish off with a between the leg snatch dribble. My example isn't the best, but you can find plenty of amazing videos online for this one. It's a great way to create separation between your defender after one bounce. Remember to stay low when doing it.